Hey folks, so in this quick masterclass, we are going to talk about the anatomy of a prompt to interact with AI, specifically with generative AI in ChatGPT as our tool of choice. And no fluff in this, we're going to crack into it. So for prompts to do well, we are acting or interacting even with most generative AI tools, it needs three things. So it needs specificity, it needs context, and it needs constraints. And we're going to walk through examples of these in each stage of our discussion today. So first of all, let us talk about what I call the minimal prompt framework. So I don't use these huge Uber prompts or monster prompts that I've seen kind of pushing so much information in. And that's because we have to look at the interaction of these tools as conversations. So like you would converse with a junior individual on your team or an intern, you would go back and forth in terms of helping them understand the task that you have at hand for them and how they can help you and what specifically you would like them to do. So the minimal prompt framework works like this. We're going to use three sentences. So the first one being, I want you to act as, so that gives GPT or whatever generative AI that you are using specificity because you're saying, who are you? What are you doing? The second one is you will help me develop, create for this particular audience. So that gives context that is telling the tool that this is the thing you're going to help me with. And you are helping me do this for this set of people. And then finally, we talk about what your first suggestion request or cry for help is. And then you enter in what that is. Now that is your constraints. So we're telling the tool who they are, what they're acting as, the context of what they'll be working on and who that's for. The last part is setting the constraints to say that with all that information that I've given you, what I'm looking for you to specifically do is this, this, and this. So it's really no different as you would have a conversation as an example of your manager with a team member in your organization. So it's as simple as that for the prompt framework. I would definitely take a screenshot of this, copy and paste it wherever you are, because that is something you can use time and time again. And something I also refer to as the endless prompt generator. So all we have to remember is these three lines for specificity, for context and for constraints. Now let's take a look at this in action. So this is an example of a prompt that I fed in to ChatGPT on the 3.5 version. So before four, which is available now, and you can see my prompt here on the left-hand side. So my prompt was, I want you to act as a learning and development manager. And you will help create questions to ask line managers about their team's performance. So my first suggestion is I need help writing questions for a survey on training needs. So we simply break this down. This first sentence here is around the specificity. The second sentence here is around the context that they need to know. And the last sentence is around the constraints. So what are they going to do with all of that information? And then hopefully like I, you get a very useful output as you see here on the right hand side. And then we can work from that and work in partnership with ChatGPT as the tool in question here to continue to tweak this, to niche this down to what I like to call our ugly first draft. So I hope that has been helpful folks. As promised, there's no good fluff. We get to the good stuff and give you tactical knowledge. So go away, take that, apply it into day to day, see how you get on. Finally, before I go, if you want to learn more from me, I do have a ChatGPT specific crash course for LND pros, which helps you learn the basics of generative AI, how to leverage these tools and then maximize your AI skills in the LND world. So if you're interested about that, scan the QR code here with your phone or go to stillthesefaults.com slash courses. And I will talk to you in the near future. Bye.